Good evening, everyone. Um, I'm sorry. It's been a long day for me at work. Um, anyway, hope you're all having a good evening. Welcome to this uh, today's Psalm Five reading. Um, this is going to be a two-part two-part uh, reading today. I'm not going to get through it all, and um, I'll finish it tomorrow. So hope you guys enjoy what I have for you tonight. It's very simple, very small. Um, we're gonna be in Psalms five, obviously. And um, before I get into that, uh, I'd like to mention um, I've had a wonderful evening um, tonight. So I'm a student at PCC. I'll go that. Uh, I'll go to that later. Um, I still need to like make a. <clears throat> a purpose video for what um, my background who I am and the purpose of why I'm doing this so I'll do that uh, later here soon I hope real soon and um, anyway I'm, I'm a student at PCC and um, there's this young lady her name is Rachel and I really really like her a lot and I got to ask her to fine arts um, tonight and she said yes so um, it was nice. I put on a scavenger hunt for clues that led me to me that led to me asking her. So it was a great night tonight. We got a beggar over here, Winston. Uh, he's begging for something. I don't know. It's probably attention. Anyway, back to our reading. Psalms five it says, "Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation." Hearken unto the voice of my cry, my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray. My voice sh thou shalt, my voice sh shalt thou hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning will I direct my prayer unto thee, and will look up. For thou art not a God that hath pleasure in wickedness, neither shall evil dwell with thee. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Thou shalt destroy them that speak leasing. The Lord will abhor, abhor the bloody and the deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into thy house in the multitude of thy mercy, and in thy fear will I worship toward thy holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. Um. So the very first uh, thing we come to is um, David saying lord and give ear unto my word and um basically it's saying god um will listen you know it's very simple god listens at any time at any place and then he goes into and he says um that he prays unto him unto the god um unto thee will i come to when i pray for comfort for instruction for love for healing all those things we come to god for and uh, that's what David goes to, to God for early in the morning. Uh, God listens to everyone at any time. David just sets a, a personal time for when he talks to God, like many of us should do. We should set, a time, set aside time, like I am doing right now, to have personal time with God, cry out to God, to read God's word, to grow spiritually. So I would encourage all of you out there, to pick up your Bible and read God's Word. It's His love letter to us. And pray to God. That's probably one of the most important things to do. Because it's what keeps our relationship with God. I know the youth group that um, I get to be part of. They love, love praying. Um, they love getting their prayer requests known. Taking it before God. Knowing and having peace that God will do what, um, what He will. And that uh, things will come to pass in his own timing. And that um, God will answer their prayers with um, with what he has for them. So I, I enjoy that. And I enjoy uh, reading my Bible with the friends I have on campus. And with everyone else, I get a, a lot out of this. Um, and then he goes in and it talks about all the wickedness uh, that God, God doesn't do deal with workers of iniquity it says God uh, I think God has no tolerance for wickedness and sin 
But then after he says all those things that he just tastes and he doesn't tolerate, he said, uh, David, who is a sinful person, who is a person after God's own heart, because of his heart for God. But he's still a sinful person. He's still a wicked person. He still has uh, sin to deal with. Um, but he says this, but as for us, we come in mer he comes in mercy. The Bible says he comes in abundance of mercy. Uh, God's mercy. Not David's mercy. It's God's mercy. And it is in God's unending mercy. When we think grace, we think of two things. Um, we think of the definition of grace and we think of the real definition of mercy. Um, <clears throat> grace is something we are given that we don't deserve. Mercy is not getting something that we do deserve. That's bad. We deserve separation from God for eternity. We deserve not to be in God's house. We deserve not to have a relationship with God at all. But it's because of God's mercy, it's because of his unending mercy for us, that mercy gives us every new day, that we have the ability to have a relationship with God, that we know we're on our way to heaven, that we will continue our relationship with God in heaven. So after all these things that we do that are wicked, um, after everything that we've done and we've sinned against God, we still have mercy, God's mercy, His unending mercy. And we are uh, know that we're on our way to heaven and we know that we will continue God's rela uh, relationship with God. And then it keeps on going and it says, lead me, God. It says, lead me, God. He wants um, God to lead him. But uh, don't you think it's important to note that <clears throat> in order for uh, God to be a leader, we must be willing to follow. There is a very, uh, there was a pastor that came to campus church on Wednesday night. And he talked about a great topic of following God. Um, what it meant to follow Jesus. And he was talking about how they give up their careers. They give up their families. And they give it all to God. They give everything to God. And they go look and pursue and seek things that God wants them to do. Um, I encourage you to go listen to that. I know PCC puts it out on a podcast sometimes. Or you can go and listen to it on um, the Campus Church website. I don't know where to link that. But if I find it, I'll put it on here sometime. But it was a really good message. It was by Dr. Uh, Daniel Stevens. Uh, a man who runs a church in Anderson, Indiana. I'm from Indiana, so there's that. Anyway, and the last thing we'll talk about is one of the last verses, verse 8, in which it says, whoops, I closed my Bible on accident. Let me get there. Oh, yes, it says, Lead me, O Lord, in thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make thy way straight before my face. Uh, <clears throat> what David's saying there is that it's because of his enemies. Um, that he needs to be led. Um, and David's enemies are basically those who deal with the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Those are all three temptations that his enemies have. No matter if it's a person or if it's a men or it's a uh, spiritual enemy, the three spiritual enemies he has is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. The things that Adam and Eve. Um, fell into when they took of the took of the fruit, <clears throat> and every single person David deals with that's his enemy has those problems. They either they either fall into the lust of the flesh where they want something because their body wants it, or they fall in the lust of the eyes something that looks amazing and that they want, or the pride of life something that puts them on a higher pedestal something that gives them more power, and David and then deals with those people. And deals with this spiritual battle of those three things. And he's wanting God to lead him out of it. And then he goes in. Make it clear. Uh, he wants him to make it straightforward what God's plan is. Uh, how God's going to lead him out of it. But he wants him to make it clear. He's asking God to make it clear. And that's something we should be praying to God on a daily basis. I think. Is that we don't know what the future holds. We don't know what. We have plans for to do different things. Um, but we have different doors that we can walk through. There are many paths we can take. And 
um, we still have a free will. We can do whatever we want. But we want to know, we want to continue a relationship with God and do what He wants us to do. What is our best capacity uh, that we can serve God in? And we should be praying to make it clear to us, as clear as possible, to know what God wants us to do. And He will give us the signs and He will give us uh, words and He will give us the Holy Spirit to guide us uh, to the decisions that will ultimately lead us to what capacity God wants us to, uh, to work in. So prayer on those, those things, um, I think in a sequential order, uh, we talk about God listening to us, and we go to Him in prayer for comfort, for instruction, for love, and for healing. Uh, we realize that uh, God listens to everyone at any time, but we should set aside time personally for God, no matter if it be in the morning or in the evening or in the afternoon, whenever you can, set aside time for God in prayer and in scripture reading. And then we talked about um, God's unending mercy. Um, we can be wicked, we can be sinful, and those are bad things that uh, distance ourselves from our relationship with God. Um, and when we look around those people around us that are wicked, we still know that God loves them and that they need God's mercy. And we should go tell them about God's mercy. Mercy, and we know that mercy is the only way we can, can we can grow a relationship with God. Um, then we learned about God leading us, and we need to be a follower. Uh, he's the one that can lead us out of those uh, of those temptations of the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. And He can make it clear to us what path um, He wants us to take. Again, this is part one of uh, Psalms five. It was it's twelve uh, verses long. I know it's not that long, but um, it's late at night where I am. I got through the first eight like the other uh, passages were, and um, I learned a lot from them. And uh, I got to do a lot today. I'm thankful for um, God keeping me safe today. I was able to do some crazy things at work um, that uh, I'm glad I got out of. But thank you for following me. Thank you for uh, going with me through today's verse, uh, to today's chapter. I'm um, hoping we can take it part two out to you soon. So I uh, pray that you have a blessed day. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. Thank you for listening in.